our first earth cache on Grand Manan Island, and it's a four and a half, four and a half. It's called pillows, not for sleeping. And it's pillow lava, and it's just all jumbled up, and we just got to get some answers from uh, about four questions and take our picture, and here it is right here. Really interesting rock to look at too because it's got cracks and it looks like it's going to break off mm -hmm. but it's really solid. And there's so many different features and that's part of the what you need to give to the CEO. Awesome spot, great view and we're in some great company. Mm -hmm. We got Liz Downey with us, Arnie and Jerry, great pair. It's like a fish caught in a net. Oh, oh how cool. Yeah. Grand Manan Island is the largest island in the Bay of Funday and sits at its opening just offshore of the border between the province of New Brunswick and the state of Maine. The island contains 81 geocaches, mainly traditionals, with a handful of other types. Six of the caches are earth caches, which have some great DT ratings. Now we're racing a bit of a storm that's coming in, severe thunderstorm watch. And we're on our way to a three and a half, four and a half earth cache called Basalt Cliffs. We made it and it's not raining yet. And we're just collecting the answers from the earth cache, which is right behind me. And uh, it looks pretty cool. And a couple of boats are out there moving to safe harbor because the storm is still heading in. Follow the shore to the north to the poster coordinates. Do not try to take a shorter path from the top because you'll only run into cliffs. This earth's cache is best done at low tide. Okay. Well, we're halfway. High tide is at noon. Low tide is at six. Well, we're at Dark Harbor, and we were looking up to see where the, the uh, traditional cache was that's here. It's way up there. <laughs> it's only what, 40 meters away? <laughs> way up there. Look at the size of these rocks. And this came from up there and broke off and rolled down. That is just amazing. And a rock this size could easily be moved by the force of water. <laughs> We've made it to ground zero and this is another earth cache that Lyric Glass and I both don't have towards a complete earth cache fizzy. That's 81 distinct difficulty and terrain rated earth caches. So this is number 61. And we're gonna get another in Prince Edward Island. At every step and turn, there was always something to see and marvel at. Each cache offered yet another wow moment. Eel Brook Beach was the starting point to the seven days work earth cache, an impressive 200 foot high cliff. A visit to the light station, first lit in 1860, offers three caches and great views. Steady as she goes. We went up the lighthouse, beautiful view up there. It's a nice clear day to see. And we'll get our complimentary virtual photo. Here we go. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Here we are on top of the hole in the wall and they say in the description for the virtual is when you see it you can't miss it. It's a big hole. <laughs> you walk around the corner of the trail and there it is. And the colors are spectacular. It is a pretty cool spot. 
And this cache is a 2-3 virtual, which we don't have yet on our grid. Yeah, we've never done a 2-3 virtual. Cool. We were looking for the nearby traditional cache. We found frogs on logs, but no logs in the frogs. Taking time out now, we just did a live broadcast on Cache Canada on Facebook. You can check that one out. The link will be down below. And we're just whale watching now. And we just saw a seal just below us. He came up briefly, uh, slid across the surface, and then went back down. And we're just taking time now just to relax and enjoy the island. We've got gorgeous weather. It's unusual to have this much sunshine without rain and fog, I guess. Um, it's just such a great spot to be. It's just awesome. And we're here with uh, Liz Downey and uh, enjoying the earth caching and the virtual. Oh, there's the seals right over there. Right on the point oh, of the yeah, see yeah. You can see his head. You can see his head over there, yeah. Yeah, right over there. Still up. Still, Still up. up. Yeah. I didn't know you could hear Oh, nice. Very cool. We're at the Red Point. Red Point Fault Earth Cache. What are you doing? It's, an it's not an earthquake. <laughs> We're at the Red Point Fault Earth Cache, and you have to get the angle of the rock and what's old and what's new. But I've noticed uh, that some of this rock just falls apart. It just crumbles, so it must be like sandstone. Except some is like it's as hard as a rock. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Our object here is to get to the flocks of sheep. And they're way over there, about 325 meters from here. It's a whole series of boulders on the edge of the cliff. The boulders behind are erratics that were left from the glaciers and they're sitting on top of the basalt. And they're the last remains of the glacier that pushed through here. And as storm surge comes in, the boulders protect the seashore from caving in and some of the boulders have rolled off into the sea these ones still here <laughs> 